If I'm a fisherman, my profession is fishing. So when I catch crab, it's just because well, in the moment I need, so I run to that because it's a near income. And a quick income and a near income, you know. So, but not for all the time. I'm fishing with the crab. When they have the spawn, I don't catch them to fishing with them because I'm wasting a lot. So I catch a small crab like that and I'm fishing with that one. When they're going finding the scent up, they're going taking and coming up, coming up, they come down and get on the hook. I catch them right there. Hey! The Archipelago of San Andres, Old Providence and St. Catherine is an insular municipality of Colombia, located 270 kilometers east of Nicaragua. The three islands have something in common, their exceptional environment. They are home to many rare species. The most remarkable of these is the black land crab. Black crabs spend most of their life away from the sea. They live in forested areas and every year the adults face a treacherous journey from the forest to the sea in order to breed. Hay veces toda parte está negro, todo parte bajando. Ellos salen al mar y dejan a sus chiquitos y después que sube al monte. Males and females move together in great numbers. They mate on the way. The migration is triggered by rainfall and the moon. Nobody knows when it will occur. The island is waiting. Man can hinder this migration. The dam, for example, is a great obstacle. So are the houses and hotels along the seafront. Walls stop the crabs and lights disorient them. The major obstacle on each island is the coastal road which must be crossed to reach the sea. Roads can be closed, but only to a limited extent. Cars and motorcycles have trouble avoiding the crabs, and many of them are killed. Habitat destruction is as much a threat to the black land crab as over-exploitation. Building developments, agriculture and roads all affect their general well-being and journey through life. Since some crabs are caught before they've had a chance to breed, each lost female means the loss of thousands of potential offspring. The females enter the sea when the eggs are fully developed, and then they hatch and swim away. Then the adults must cross the road again to return to the hills. The Colombian environmental organization Coralina is collaborating with UK scientists to conduct a major research program on the black crab, funded by the UK Darwin Initiative for the survival of the species. 36. The main objective of the UK Darwin Initiative Research is to serve, recover and ensure future sustainable management of the black long crab in San Andres and Old Providence. The first major component of the uh, research programme funded by the Darwin Initiative is to study the biology and ecology of the species. It's really a process of information gathering. There is very little known about the species 
throughout the Caribbean, so this is an ideal opportunity to study um, the species in detail and to study it with the help of the communities who thrive upon it. We much. hope that by involving the communities to a large degree in developing the management plan that this can indeed act as a model uh, throughout the region for similar resource management plans. Black land crabs lived on the island long before the first colonists arrived. They are silent witnesses to the incredible history of these islands. The Spanish and British history of the islands is reflected today in many customs. Creole English mixed with Spanish is the language spoken by most of the inhabitants of the archipelago. Over the years, the people of the archipelago have come to rely on the many local resources for their livelihood. This balance between customs and environment was recognized in the year 2000, when UNESCO declared the archipelago a world biosphere reserve under the name of sea flower. As a result, many species are being protected and officials are keeping a close eye on black crab population which may be declining due to a number of reasons. One main activity on the islands is crab catching. Catching a crab is very easy during the migration period as they must pass directly through the settlements on their way to the sea. At other times, crabbers have to work by night in the forests. It is a hard and lonely task and can be dangerous. I like to catch like these. That is very big, that is all here. If you catch a ten dozen of these, you know, the bag can't carry it. A large crab is probably 20 years old. We catch most of the big, big one. All the time we try to get the big one and to get the two. Many families depend on catching crabs throughout the year. Others only use this resource during the migration time. In dry seasons, a day's catch can be very poor. And as a result, most crabbers have other jobs to ensure they can provide for their families. In any event, it appears that crab catchers are increasing in number as the years go by. Crabs are picked by hand which is a slow task. Restaurants sell crab dishes, especially the claws, which is the most popular dish in tourist areas. And crab soup is a traditional dish served at many island events. During May, June and July, the demand will go higher than the rest of the year because you have a lot of occasional hunter and occasional people that buy crabs just to embrace the abundance that you have during in this season. In average, during the whole year, from January to December, the biggest demand is local restaurant and in San Andreas as well. There are some regulations prohibiting crabbing in certain areas and seasons, but these are very hard to enforce. Hopefully over a period of years we will be able to tell whether or not there is a long-term impact on crab populations through catching activity. But I must stress that it's not just catching activity that can impact on crab populations. There is also the problems associated with roadkill um, around the migration route. And there are also possible impacts from agricultural practice on both islands. In the laboratory, researchers examine samples of crabs to find out at what size they mature and are able to reproduce. So the sort of things we want to try and find out about the biology of a crab are how big they get to, at what size they become sexually mature, what is the structure of the population, 
and we will try and get some information on the growth rate and the age of the crabs. All of these things are vitally important if we're going to manage the population and if we're going to give advice which people can accept and believe. They also examine how many eggs each female crab carries. El proyecto tiene algunas mediciones que tenemos que hacer en la parte biológica. Por ejemplo, está la de medir los caparazones y las mediciones de los ovarios para saber cómo van progresando estos ovarios. También hacemos la parte de establecer dónde se presentan los mayores flujos migratorios. Todo esto para obtener suficientes herramientas para poder eh, elaborar y estructurar objetivamente un plan de manejo. Researchers are also studying the feasibility of black crab farming or terraculture. We're looking to see whether or not it will be feasible to rear these animals in captivity. It presents an opportunity to study whether or not um, there is a potential for developing economic activity through um, terraculture or else just releasing young juvenile crabs into the environment to supplement existing populations. Coralina, schools and islanders work together developing and improving local knowledge of the species, helping crabbers and their families become aware of the many problems that the black crab faces. En general se hacen talleres de gastronomía, uso tradicional, biología, títeres, obras de teatro. Y a los capturadores y procesadores también se les hacen talleres sobre eh, biología y ecología del cangrejo, uso sostenible, uso tradicional y se está avanzando en cursos para manejo de alimentos, formación de microempresas, formación de cooperativas. La segunda major parte del proyecto es la educación y the training. Uh, what we are doing is to develop training initiatives whereby we teach Coralina staff and other members of the community aspects of community-based resource management along with information on how to analyse and develop biological um, sampling studies. The tiny crab larvae swim in the sea for two to three weeks, feeding on plankton and growing. They are at the mercy of winds and currents and may get swept far from land and eventually die. Successful returns in large numbers are seen only every few years. The tiny crabs, a living, moving red carpet, must cross the road to reach the forests where they grow and become mature. In five to ten years, they will be big enough to start their own migration. The project team hope, with the help of the island communities, to develop measures for sustaining the crab population, while at the same time permitting traditional use of this valuable resource to continue. The third component to uh, the research program is the management and implementation phase. Uh, within this phase, we hope to establish a black crab conservation unit with representatives from all stakeholders in San Andreas and Old Providence. We want to develop a management plan with their cooperation and we want to look at the best types of regulations that can be put in place um, which will be acceptable to the local communities and which will work in the future management of the crab on these islands. The black crabs are part of the island's heritage, a cultural symbol and a valued resource. They must be protected as such for generations of the future. Mm -hmm.